Hello, my name is Harold. This is Tech on Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a Google Gmail email address. All right, the first thing we're going to do is pick a browser. Uh, my preference is to use Google Chrome, so that's what I'm going to use, but you can do this from any browser. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the address bar here, and we're going to start by going to gmail.com. Now, assuming you've never logged into Gmail on this computer, and you've got a completely clean computer that you're working with, uh, you can go ahead and just click create an account. If you already have an account logged in, you're going to have to click on that account, and you're going to have to click sign out, and then click on create an account. Uh, but assuming you haven't logged in already, you should see something just like this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new account. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to, it's going to ask you for some information, so I'm going to go ahead and put some of this stuff in. In fact, I'm going to call this first name tech on and then last name tech. And unfortunately, since this is already taken, it gives me the next closest one that I can use. Let's say, and I already actually already have the biz account. So let's just say test. How about tech on tech test email? And then that should allow us to do tech on tech test. at gmail.com it looks like it's okay with that give me a second i'm going to go ahead and enter in a predefined password i use for situations like this same thing if you were doing this on your record you would want to pick out a password to enter in here so you're going to pick out the password you're going to type it in and you're going to enter it in twice typically speaking they want it to be eight characters a mix of letters numbers and symbols so it's got to be whatever it is it's got to be eight characters long at least and it's got to have at least one number a number of letters or one letter and a series of numbers you can mix it around a little bit like that um let's see that'd be a good password something like asdh123 and something like this would probably do it although no 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 here uh it would just have to be in some sort of a format okay so we've got one capital we've got the rest lowercase you could do one capital two capital it doesn't matter or any but you want something something like this where you've got at least one capital letter you've got at least one number in it i've got more than a couple and then you want a uh a, a non-uniform character like a like an exclamation point or an at symbol or something like that at the end so this here would be a password be along the lines of what they would like to see in a password so something like this would be okay let me go ahead and close that i'm not using that specific password but that's something that you could technically use now we're still at the point where you could sign in with a current account if you have it but i think this all looks good so we're going to create this new account i'm going to click next now, there's a couple of things we can do here. I'm actually going to see if we can just skip over all this. Um, I think it's going to come back later. We don't have to enter in a recovery. We don't have to. It wants us to. We don't technically have to. And the same thing for a phone number. We can, but we don't necessarily have to. So I'm going to leave that blank. I'm going to go ahead and enter in some base information here, which as I think about it, I will probably have to go in and change yeah by the way this works i'll probably have to change it because somebody might be able to backdoor this if they know what this information is so i'll i'll take care of that all right now we've got base information you've got to enter in at least at the least at least what you have to do is enter in a uh birth date and gender mail i have in the past gone through the thing where you have to recover the password so you may need this if you lose the password or something like that in the future but in reality what you ought to do is use an email address or at least a phone number so that way you can go in and retrieve the password if you ever lose it or you get locked out or something like that also if somebody takes over the account or it gets compromised you want to have this in there because it's about the only way oh it's just what you use to recover it all right let me go ahead and click next all right, we have a couple of the privacy terms. There's a lot of information here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click I agree. I recommend you read over those. Um, let's do that. All right. So in that case, I was actually able to just hit the refresh button 
and it was able to finish creating the account. Now, there's a couple of things I'm going to have to now. Now, we do. We do now officially have a Gmail account. And I'm actually doing a couple of videos where I need an email account to do some of what I'm going to show you. So I wanted to get this out of the way and I wanted to show you creating a Gmail account. Once you have a Gmail account, you can compose, you can do other stuff. Uh, but more importantly, you should go in here in settings. Here, let's see if we go there. Well, oh, not formal settings. That's the settings to uh, customize how it looks. But we're going to click here. And what we're going to do is go into manage Google account. There's a couple of things I'm going to do off screen here. So let me check back in with you in just a second. It's a little bit of recording offline. But what I wanted to finish off with is you should go in and set up two-factor verification. At least have it ping your phone. So that way it can... Uh, request a code on your phone and that way if somebody does manage to get past your password that you can go back in and uh well stop them because what it'll do is it'll send you something to your phone that you have to enter in that generally can't get into it but for further security uh authentication you should enable the uh, google app which is an app you can put on your phone and it generates a code that you enter in your email address i highly recommend that even more so than just having it send something to your phone. But at the very least, you should enable two-factor authentication to your phone. That way, it creates a buffer. So if anybody ever manages to break your password, uh, you have something stopping them from getting in. Ah, uh, yes. Also, one other side note I wanted to add. After I went in and after I uh, logged in for the second time, it did want me to add a recovery email. This is not necessarily a bad thing to do. I recommend you do it if you have another email account you have access to that you want to attach it to. You don't have to. You can click the cancel button, but this is something that is useful and I recommend everybody do. Anyhow, that's pretty much it for this. You should now, if you followed these instructions, should have a Gmail email address set up. From here, we'll move on to some other videos. And on that note, have a great rest of the day.